Hey guys, Adam Echo02 from Black Emma Tactical. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about a uh, custom gas blowback gun that I have built. Um, as you know, everyone's into upgrading and modifying their guns these days. Uh, what I'm going to do is just run through one that I have built, um, you know, which is much more reliable than the gas, bl gas blowback guns you see in the field. Whoa! <laughs> This is my Mark 16 Block 3 build. Now this is loosely based on the original WA platform. And I mean loosely, as in the original part is just the, the buffer tube. What I'll do is I'll run through the externals of this build. I will put a full description underneath the video. I know I'm gonna miss a few things out like mounts and covers and whatnot. I know someone's gonna ask somewhere down the line what these parts are. So I'm just gonna put a full build list down the bottom for you. Uh, starting with the body, this is actually a prime receiver. I think I found the only one left in stock anywhere. It's a bit of a struggle, but in the depths of Hong Kong, I managed to find one. They're actually CNC from a billet of aluminium. So think of a real steel strength and manufactured body before an airsoft platform. Now, at the front we've got a die tack. I actually think they've been rebranded as OMG. I'll have to double check that. Um, this is the SOCOM RC2 suppressor for the 556 version. And I've got an Airsoft Artisan 3 prong flash hide at the front here. Now I've got I've gone for the Surefire M600 Scout Light. I've 3D printed a little base here just to space this out a tiny bit so I could actually put washers and screws through behind. I like a low profile. Now I know a lot of people will say you get a sort of shadow from your suppressor, etc. I don't always run a suppressor anyway, but you know they're just for looks anyway. But I like it as low profile as I can. Just an M-lock QD mount at the front. It's an iron airsoft steel M4A1 outer barrel. I've got a real AR gas block inside with the, the dummy gas tube. The grip is actually a real steel Magpul K2 grip. Now I love the wrist angle on these. It's actually so perfect for me. My wrists are really small. Um, <laughs> that's just how I am, but I love this. The actual buffer tube is the GMP Walk. The stock is a B5 system style copy stock. I've gone for the Angry Gun Airborne Charging Handle. This is an Iron Airsoft backup sight. I rarely use these. And I've got the T2 by Ace One Arms on the original American Defense base here as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack this gun open. We've got a little bit closer up so I can show you what I've done inside to make this gun perform so well. Hi right, guys, welcome back. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run through the internals on the guts of this gun and show you how this gun performs so well or why this gun performs so well and to be fair it's all done to converting these GHK G mags to run CO2 it's called the devil hunter mod now I will do a separate video on this because I know a lot of people on the forums have asked me what have I done to my mags I'm going to do a completely separate video showing you step by step how to convert these mags to take liquid CO2. Um, I'll just show you this now. Fill up, fill up your mags just like green gas but with liquid CO2. Starting with the lower receiver. Now the internals of this are all steel. The hammer, bolt catch, mag release, the valve knocker, the trigger, selector, they're all steel. Auto sear is steel. Most of these parts are iron airsoft. Now, they're sort of getting hard to find these parts. There are many still out there. I stocked up on a few of these when, when I found them in stock, just in case anything did ever happen. So I love this build so much, I don't want to be not able to find any parts. 
the actual buffer and spring, they're Viper Tech. Now, I don't know where to get these anymore. If you know, let me know, because I'd love to put another set in another one of my builds. Now, the hop up and barrel, the barrel itself is a, a ZCI, I think it's a 6.02, and the hop up is the new design Iron Airsoft hop up. Now, they've got a rear adjustment and the bucket I'm using the Mad Bull Blue I believe and I put hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of BBs through this and it's flawless. This gun outranges any other gun I've ever used. Now going on to what has caused a lot of controversy on the WA page when I put this up. I'm running an Inokatsu bolt, it's a steel bolt with the um, rear counterweight. I've got the RATEC or RATEC aluminium nozzle. The internals are actually uh, RATEC as well. And what I've had to do is, because running the CO2, the end pass inside the the actual nozzle, it actually kept snapping. So I reached out to an engineer in place, and they actually laid me the screw and adjustment part and that's inside there now and this can actually take the pressure of the CO2. Right guys, so that's the Mark 16 Block 3 build. Now I, like I say, I have loosely spoke on this. I will be listing everything in the description. Anything else that you do want to know about, just drop us a message. Follow us on the socials, I'll get back to you. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to chuck a mag in now. It's 100% clear before anyone starts saying anything. And please like and subscribe. Just put a gun back As so he this is lost finally, this is inside his darkest of thoughts. Subscribe to us, <laughs> name your sponsor.